reviews, unboxings, tech and forward news, all here at Oiwoka, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, this is going to be the review of the Toshiba Camelo S20. I did the unboxing, now it's time for the full review. Okay, we're going to start off with the front. We've got the camera here. And just below it, we've got the microphone with a flash. On the other side, um, we've got a record button, which substitutes as a button when you're capturing your photos as well. You have a rocker here, so you can zoom in and out, and out of um, pictures. And you, saw, you could also use it to increase and decrease the volume as well when viewing a video. Um, this button here is to change it from widescreen to normal. The button below it is for the flash. You see you turn the flash on, on and off. And the button below it is to go into the gallery to view your pictures. And at the top here, you've got a button here which um, you can set to normal or switch over to macro mode. You see the icon comes up there, you can turn it off and like so. Um, also, at the top you have your SD card slot here. Easy to install, I've got 8GB um, SD card in there, works fine. And at the bottom, we got the core inch to um, connect your tripod to, and then you got your battery right here. And right here, you have under this little tab here, we got all your connections. You got your 3.5 millimeter jack, which you use to output TV to your TV. You have a mini HDMI, so if you have a HD TV, you could um, transfer all your HD video to um, view your HD videos on your HD TV, and you have your USB connection to connect it to the computer. You have your lanyard to connect your lanyard in there. I'm going to take a quick look at the software. Um, you could use this one to zoom. But when you're in viewing in 1080p, you can't actually zoom. You could only zoom in 720p. Okay, now to get into the settings, you press down this button. And you have an option to view um, to change the resolution. So you tap down on this button. You could change it to 1080p at 30 frames per second, 720p at um, 30 frames per second, WVGA at 60 frames per second, and VGA. In 720p, you can zoom in and out. But when you're in 1080p, you can't zoom in and out. Also, you could adjust your white balance to these different settings. You could change your scenes. You could add a backlight or if you're at night, you could change it so you get um, better quality. You could add image stabilization, motion detection, slow motion, time lapse. Yep. You could also adjust the sound to turn the sound on and off, change the TV settings, camera, and language, your time settings, and that's it. Now we're going to press this button here. We're going to switch over to the camera. Um, in the camera you could um, choose to set your resolution at 16 megapixels, 5 megapixels or 3 megapixels. When it is set to 16 megapixels, it does use up uh, a lot more memory. So um, keep that in mind. 
and you do get a lot better video quality as well you could also change your white balance scenes CAD self timer or ISO and you still have all the settings as well but um, I would like to see it have a uh, more video setting so you could um, adjust it a bit more um, also it rotates in 180 degrees one thing I do notice about the camera it does attract a lot of fingerprints but other than that it's uh, the camera is um, very good produces good video quality and I'll be doing some test um, video quality footage of this and uploading it and I'll be doing all my other videos using this camera from that one so you can get to see how it looks as well and something else that you need to bear in mind is that it is a cheap camera and if you want a better video quality you do have to spend a bit more money to get it but for the price range this is a very good camera and it produces a good quality as well and that's about it don't forget to follow me on twitter the link is below subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and that's about it thanks for watching